97 pound, 197. That is Nick Heflin, Harry Panther, two-time All-American for the Ohio State Buckeyes. That is Cole Baxter, Butler, Pennsylvania, and the blue and gold. Baxter, the upstart with a pin. Last match against Kevin Beasley of Old Dominion. And Nick Heflin, 9-0 on the year, defaulted out of Reno, or Vegas, that is, Cliff Keen. And uh, must have had an injury or something happening. Yeah, because he made it all the way to the semifinals, and he was slated to wrestle Travis Rutt in the semifinals. Uh, what was that, Saturday morning out there in Vegas, and it just medically forfeited, didn't even go out on the mat. So it's not like he started wrestling and got hurt. Yeah, Nick Heflin, like you said, bumped up. Two-time All-American at 174 pounds for the Buckeyes. He is now up to 197. I think he looks pretty good looks at 197. Big. He does not look undersized. No, he doesn't. I, I bet he was cutting from 200 to make 74. I, I've, I've heard higher numbers. From I've heard higher numbers. Yeah. But uh, Nick Heflin lumbers right in there, and he he likes to uh, likes to scrap. There's a shot. Go behind the top there by Cole Baxter. Nice little exchange by both guys. Nothing doing. 145 left in the first period. We've got goose eggs up on the board. A bunch of goose eggs. All the riding time and the score. Oh, Zeb. <laughs> oh, that's good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's okay. You've had better. So, Heflin just kind of holding in the center of the mat, though. We don't really see him attacking all that much. And that's something you said. You know, he, he told you last year at Nationals he wanted to go up because he felt like he was cut too much weight, didn't have enough offense at 197. And as I say that, he attacks forward here. We try to get to an over-under. seconds left in the first period. We're tied 0-0. And you know, it was like I said, when Nick Teflin told me last year, he's like, I need to get more offense. I need to go up and wait so I can feel good so I can attack people. And uh, you yeah, haven't really seen him attack too much here so far today. And uh, you know, the Buckeye faithful, that, that's I think a gripe they have about Nick Teflin. I'll tell you what, I got no gripes about this guy. I think he's, uh, I think he's the real deal. As they move towards this action here. Halfland's gonna take him, controls the center of the mat, takes him out of bounds, come back to the center. Halfland's got a mohawk that's thrown back in. Yeah, or a full hawk, whatever you want to call it. I feel like a full hawk's just on the top. He takes it all the way back to the mullet. And we've got 12 seconds left in the first here. It looks like we're gonna go scoreless here in the first. Uh, not too many sudden movements, really. Yeah, that's not a lot of attack. Sudden movements would be a good word that, for that, Zeb. Or sudden movements. Make a whole lot of sudden movements. So you, 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 not at all. Not always in the bus to move. You know, it's kind of, kind of lay low. You know. Yes, you do. And Heflin's choice. So he's going to go underneath here. Start this second period. We are tied at zero. We got two minutes on the clock. Start step on the mat. Step on the mat. We never start the mat. Try to ride. And now Heflin's going to get himself away. Scores the escape. 30, 25 seconds into the period. It's 1-0. And now the question is, are we going to see some offense here in the second period? Is it going to be more of this, where they're not really attacking? Uh, you got to think that's a little hesitant, afraid to make a mistake and get countered. When you see so much counter wrestling these days, so much guys are getting so good at defense and keeping good position. And the moment the other guy comes out of position to try to attack, bam, a go behind, and bam, a re-attack. And uh, you know, that, that's a testament to wrestling, man. It, it, I think we need more offensive guys, but it, it's hard, it takes a lot of energy. Uh, it's hard to be the board, man. It's really hard to score on a lot of teams. The Missouri Tigers are hard to score on. You know? Because they're, you know, and, and scrambling has, an, you know, speaking of Missouri, you know, and, and a lot of other teams, lots of teams, and, and wrestling in general, scrambling has become, become such uh, a bigger thing in the last decade, and it's so much more a part of the sport. Yeah. And so you attack, 
this guy starts to scramble and he scores, and that could be part of the defensive mindedness that you're talking of. Central Michigan, excellent style like that. Them and Missouri have an excellent, you know, nice reattacks. Never break position either squad. I mean, you rarely see it. They don't break position all the time. And then you got uh, some guys who go out there and throw the kitchen sink at you. Heflin's very rarely the he break position. Heflin is ranked number four. And we got just seven seconds to go here in the second period. And basically, we we saw what we hoped we wouldn't. A lot of standing around, some hand fighting, not a lot of attacking by either guy. And so Baxter's choice, he's going to go underneath, he trails by a point, he's 13-5 on the season, so, uh, you know, respectable record. Heflin, as we said earlier, 9-0 for the Buckeyes, he covers. And this is where I think he's going to try to win this game. Cut. Tough on top, the Perry Panther, a one-time state champ here in Ohio. Let's go. 